Things are never as they seem these days. Frauds are everywhere. Lots of people are frauds. Some you would never suspect. I'm the spy. What? You? And some are so obvious, it's incredible anybody misses them. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Something that's been getting on my nerve are digital influencers who are not who they claim to be. Everyone claims to be an expert. I'm doing it right now. I'm not a polymath. I'm not even a YouTuber. I'm shooting this video on a Galaxy S5. One thing I'm especially not is a visual effects expert. My most elaborate effect is a lightsaber that I rotoscoped in Blender over a decade ago. One visual effect that I've seen a lot of people faking and failing is the Invisible Man. Go scroll through YouTube tutorials and see how many of them claim to teach the Invisible Man effect and how many of them fall woefully short. Too many of these quote-unquote invisible techniques are... they're still visible. It's, uh, it's not like it hasn't been done well before. Uh, Bilbo, he pulled it off way back in the Third Age with pretty good success. And Peter Jackson managed to imitate uh, invisibility in a Lord of the Rings parody trilogy uh, back in 2012. He is long gone. No, he isn't. For reference, this is basically what a computer looked like back in 2012. So clearly the technology is here. Uh, people just aren't putting it to very good use. Even big budget productions have struggled with uh, this invisibility thing. Many of the live-action shots in the sprawling documentary series Halo feature attempts at invisibility, but after failing to completely disappear, they had to change the name of the effect to Active Camouflage. I don't get it. Giant Clearly, leader. Active Camouflage is just obfuscation to deceive the masses. In a world where this is a well-thought-out plot point, and this is not a shameless cash grab for toy sales, Apparently this passes for an invisible man, and I think we can do better. Today I'm going to teach you how to pull off a highly convincing invisible man for free. First things first, we're using a piece of software called GIMP. It's totally free, no strings attached. It's a substitute for Photoshop. You can download it from the link in the description. And while you're in the neighborhood, how about you uh, like this video and subscribe? Okay, now we need to grab some photos. So we'll need three main shots. Use a tripod so that your camera remains absolutely still for all three of these shots. First, we need a shot of the background. This is a clean plate, and all the visual effects are going to layer on top of this clean plate. Second, we need a shot with an actor in a motion capture suit. If you don't have one available, just scrounge it from household items. Make sure you have some tracking points for the camera to follow, and something to identify where the actor's hands are. And then third, we need a shot with the actor. In this case, it's the writer, director, narrator, visual effects artist actor in costume. From here, we open up GIMP, click File, Open as Layer, navigate to your files, select all three of them, and click Open. Over in the Layers tab, drag the background down to the bottom. The mocap layer is just for reference, so click the little eyeball to make that layer invisible. And now we have two layers that are the key to this effect. The first thing we want to do is mask out most of the area surrounding the actor. Uh, with the actor layer selected, grab the lasso tool and rough out a shape around the actor. Uh, this doesn't have to be too precise, Once that's done, invert the selection by hitting Select Invert. We're going to use a green screen to pull off this effect. Maybe you've seen green screens on the behind the scenes of Hollywood movies, only we're doing this with a virtual green screen inside this powerful software. So click to change the foreground color and select a nice bright green like that. Hit OK and make that your default color. Go to the top and hit Edit, Fill with FG, that stands for Foreground Color. 
This will cut out the majority of the background, but now we need to do the tricky work of tracing the actor. Grab the lasso tool again and start tracing the subject. Uh, you can dynamically zoom by holding control and using your mouse wheel, and you can drag the image by clicking and dragging with your mouse wheel. Just start clicking to trace the entire subject and take your time here. The more time you spend, the cleaner the final product will be. When this is done, you will repeat the step we did before by hitting Edit, Fill with Foreground Color, or FG. Now pay careful attention to these next couple steps, alright guys, this is the key. Right click on the Actor layer, and click Add Alpha Channel. The Alpha Channel allows us to erase selections from the layer, and allow layers from below, in this case the background, to show through from behind. And this is where we get to the power of this virtual green screen technique. Click Select All to select the entire image. Make sure the actor layer is still active. Grab the Wand tool. This uses artificial intelligence inside your computer to grab all the pixels that make up our virtual green screen. Uh, I don't really know how it does it since the computer doesn't have eyes, but it can somehow tell what parts are green and what parts aren't. So you just simply click on any part of the picture that's green, and pff, all the green is selected. Now click Edit and Clear. The hard part's done. Look how you can turn the active layer off and see it appear and reappear. The actor even looks like he's sitting on the trailer, even though the trailer was all by itself when the background plate was taken. Uh, so our invisibility effect is almost done, but we want the actor to remain invisible even when this layer is turned on. So go ahead and click Select one more time to select the entire image and zoom in a little bit. There's still a tiny green line surrounding the actor that we need to get rid of. Grab the eraser tool, scale down the size to just a few pixels if you need to, um, and then turn up the hardness. Take your time. This is a little tedious, but the results are worth it. There we go. Now that that's done, we're almost there. Now you may be saying to yourself, Ike, the man isn't invisible. And you would be right, but we have established all the fundamental pieces that will soon come together and complete this effect. Scale your eraser up and turn the hardness all the way down to 0.1. And then carefully approach the subject and you'll see the invisibility start to take hold. Carefully just circle the subject, fading more and more until he completely disappears. And then one final step. Just quickly turn the layer with the motion capture on and off to make sure everything lines up. You can tell it's not perfect, but it's close enough that, that nobody would be able to tell. And there you have it. Uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial, guys, uh, I would love it if you liked or subscribed. Uh, let me try know if you uh, tried this technique and if you had success with it. Share your results on social media. Uh, just tag it with uh, legit invisible man or hashtag aspiring polymath. I'll be able to find it there. And I look forward to seeing how this pushes the field of visual effects even further into the future.